In this video, I am going to talk about ophthalmia neonaturum. The definition of ophthalmia neonaturum is, it is a conjunctivitis that occurs in newborn during the first four weeks of life and with clinical signs of erythema and edema of the eyelids where there is redness in colour and also swelling of the eyelids. And there will also be palpebrae conjunctivae and purulent eye discharge as shown in this picture over here. The causative organisms include gonococcal and also non-gonococcal, for example, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus viridens, Haemophilus, Escherichia coli, and also Klebsiella and Morae pseudomonas. And other organisms include Chlamydia and also Herpes simplex virus. For investigation, we can do eye swab for gram staining. And this eye swab, it requires fast transport to the lab within 30 minutes. Another investigation is gram stain for intracellular gram negative diplococci, um, as, which means Neisseria gonorrhea. And this test is, has a very high specificity and also sensitivity for Neisseria gonorrhea. We can also do eye swab for culture and sensitivity and also conjunctival scrapping for indirect fluorescent antibody identification for chlamydia. For treatment, we can do eye toilet, can also give antibiotics depending on what the causative organism is. For gonococcal, we can give ceftriaxone or cefotaxim. For non-gonococcal, we can give other kinds of medications like eye ointment, which includes gentamicin, fusitalmic or ceftazidim. Whereas for chlamydia, we can give erythromycin or septrim and aciclovir for herpes simplex virus. If this condition is left untreated, there are some complications that may occur, which include corneal scarring or ulceration, pen of thalmitis, and also there might be perforation of globe. That's all for my video. Thank you.